need glasses because I'm not as young as I used to be. Um, good evening, my name is uh, Kirsten Arreyes and um, I've been um, in charge of the junior activities during our convention this last actually full day, a day and a half. Um, so I would of course like to thank Stanislaus um, Holstein Club for all that they did to make this convention possible. There's a million and one details and they attended all of them and I thank you so much. And the food was wonderful, by the way. <laughs> um, uh, I would like to thank Linda uh, Silva for all that she did uh, for our silent auction and uh, my daughter Sarah for helping her and her daughter, Tony. Um, I would like to remind you that the silent auction items will be available at the end of the banquet. Uh, our bank will be lined up to collect your money and then you'll be able to collect your items. And we do ask that you try to collect all your items this week so I won't be knocking on, or, or this week, this evening, so I won't be knocking on your door in the middle of the night to give you your items. So please make sure and get those this evening. Okay, my partner is Sarah Zonneveld and she could not be here tonight because she had a child that had a birthday, and that was a priority for her, but she has been a tremendous amount of help for us in the Junior Association, not only in her own area, but getting the kids ready to go to the National Convention. She has done a wonderful job. She's our honorary junior member, and we'll talk a little bit about that tonight, but unfortunately, she could not be here. But I would like all the children that attended the National Holstein Convention in Illinois to please join me here on the stage. Come on up, come on up. Right here. Okay, I have a, a little something for each of them, but this message is, is for them. You are at the forefront of a society that knows little about agriculture, yet assumes they know all. Your battles will be numerous to espouse the truth about agriculture and nature's most perfect food. It took us 40 years to understand that we knew what we knew all along, that butter was good for us. There's many more battles ahead for you. We need smart, educated, quality kids that are going to be the young adults that are not going to just lead the Holstein cow but lead the dairy industry as well because without both we have nothing and without these kids we don't have a future. So you have a big job ahead of you. But know that your future is in good hands because they're smart and they're talented, they're, um, they're leaders, and someday they're going to be in those positions of leadership to make those smart decisions. We know a lot of that's not happening in Sacramento and it's not happening in Washington, D.C. So we're going to need the future in the hands of these kind of kids. But it's with knowledge and facts that you'll be able to face those battles. Your uh, award this evening as a memento for going to the National Holstein Convention is the Hordes Leadership Volume 1. You might recognize this, Corey. Um, this is your gift. We thought nothing better for you kids would be better than to give you a book about Hord and his leadership. Because believe it or not, um, he got introduced um, to the dairy industry because he was interested in it and there was a dairyman in his neighborhood. Some of you are from dairies. Some of you are not. Um, but you don't have to be from a dairy to love the Holstein cow or love the industry. And these kids, some of them do, some of them don't, but W.D. Hoard found his way to the dairy industry and all these kids have as well. And I'm gonna read one last quote before I hand them each their books because this is quite a fascinating book. You did a really good job, Corey. There is no vocation on God's green earth that calls for higher elements of character, for deeper research, for grander nobility of nature than that of a farmer. So keep those words in mind, kids. Kylie Conan, 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 Junior Jeopardy. <laughs> Hannah Mancibo, Junior Jeopardy. <laughs> Alex Gambanini, National Winner, Written Test, Third Place, Intermediate, Dairy Jeopardy. <laughs> Sianna Barrett. National winner, written test, second place, Junior Division Jeopardy. You. You all get later. Carlene Lopez, Lopez, Senior Dairy Bowl Team. <laughs> Kate.
Kiara Gilardi, Senior Dairy Ball Team. <laughs> Hannah Van Dyke, Senior Dairy Ball Team. Someone from her family can bring this for her. <laughs> we'll get it, we'll get it there. Hannah Young, Senior Dairy Ball Team. Mackenzie Elmer, National Second Place Written Test, Junior Dairy Ball Team. <laughs> Haley Fernandez, National Third Place Written Test, and the Junior Dairy Ball Team. <laughs> Jacob Fernandez, National Third Place Prepared Speech Contest, and Junior Dairy Ball Team. Abby Prince, Junior Dairy Ball Team. Someone can take this for her. And Hannah Van, oh, that's, that's the one we already did, Robert. <laughs> okay. That's the one, it was closed already. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, and what I saw today with our Dairy Bowl and our Dairy Jeopardy contest leads me to believe that we have a lot more wonderful um, experiences ahead at the National Holstein Convention in New York, and we are really looking forward to going. Remember your silent auction items tonight. I would very much appreciate that. And thank you for all the support that you give our junior program.